Why do sailors measure speed in knots? Well, imagine you're Christopher Columbus. It's 1492. I'm sailing the ocean blue. Not, not quite sure where we are, but I'd like to get to Asia. Here, sire. Oh my god! <laughs> the earth! It's a sphere! <laughs> yeah, and square measurements don't work well on round things. So this dude, Hipparchus, divides the earth into a grid of imaginary lines. Latitude and longitude. When we measure round things, we have to use a unit called degrees. And Hipparchus, that smart man, assigned zero degrees to the equator and 90 degrees to the North Pole. But what about any time Columbus is between degrees of latitude? Well, we have to break the degree down further. And because Hipparchus used a base 60 system, one degree became equal to 60 minutes. And the nautical mile, the distance Columbus needed to know, was one minute of latitude. A knot is just how many nautical miles you can travel in one hour.